Hey everyone, this is part 11 of God of War Ragnarok. Let's get into the video. Like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. Broken history. Aye, not exactly an easy fix for that. I see the elves continue their war. Yeah, so much for things being better in Alpha. <laughs> Winter hit Alfheim hard. No. Storms have plagued Alfheim's deserts long before Fimble Winter. Hold on. I hear something out there. Something big. It's in pain. Our goal is at the temple, not in the desert. There. The Temple of Light. Gross Shrine is at the top. Perhaps we can reach that brazier from above. everything okay? Hi, old friend. Just looting no your chests. We'll be right along. My dad likes Lou. Ah, very well. Living desert. Freyr never bothered returning to Alfheim, did he, Mimir? Aye, no. I assumed the fate of his own realm took precedence. Wait, Freya's brother? Yes. Cut from a different bad one.
There's a barricade up ahead. What are those shiny rocks? Twilight stone. A rare material that can take millennia to form. Majestic, isn't it? Occasionally, the light of Alfheim will bind to a rock and crystallize, growing like moss on a fallen tree. Truly a wonder of the Nine Realms. <laughs> There's a gap in the fence over there. Oh, I didn't know it could do that. Freya's brother. How was he involved? Long ago, Freya of the Vanir traveled to Alfheim, where he discovered a once beautiful land devastated by war. Using his divine powers, he set about cultivating a tenuous peace among the elves. Did you mention how that peace fell apart as soon as he left? I was getting to it. You hear that? Oh, no. That's enough, please. You don't need to do this. We don't want to hurt you. We do not have a choice. Where are the ones who freed the light? Why are you fighting us? We helped you last time. Atreus, focus. I hate Alphon. follow once we're inside. Is there truly no other way? Not like they're giving us much of a choice. So your father said. I'm just naive, I suppose. No. Just an optimist, old friend. Tribute to Freyr, made by the elves. He must have left it here when he raced back to Vanaheim. What is this? A charm to ward off nightmares. In this case, theirs. Well, knowing the elves, there are probably more tributes to find. Best we move on for now, brother. Don't think we have the right tools for this one. So tall. We came in from the top last time. Didn't realize all this was even down here. It's an older gate, built to promote cooperation between the elves, but it looks like it's been sealed for some time. I'll go first. 
Atreus, let me know when I've reached halfway. So, uh, what's happening right now? This seal is meant to represent the balance of the realm when Freya was here. Light and dark, working together in harmony. How's that look, Atreus? Good, I think. Father, now you go. Unfortunately for Alfheim, Freya couldn't accept his sister's decision to marry Odin. He returned to Vanaheim and left this realm to its fate. To be fair, the Aesir did set him on fire that one time. Hmm. The door should have opened. Are you sure it's balanced? Yeah, but the realm isn't. Not anymore. Father, try pulling it the other way. Yeah, yeah! And Tyr, you keep pushing forward. Fine work, Atreus. Shall we? What's a Dark Elf statue doing in the Light Temple? That's just how they looked before the Division. The Division? Yes. The Elves weren't always split between Light and Dark, you know. This statue depicts the Elves before the war, before they discovered the power of the Light. Solid light. Yes, some things don't change. Yes. The stone briefly imparts a bit of light to your axe. That's useful. What's that sound? No sense in spoiling the surprise. I've never seen the Lake of Souls so volatile. Aye. Fimple winter, you reckon? Of course. Making the light unstable. So the base of this light well, that's the Lake of Souls. Yes. After the creation of the Nine Realms, fallen souls began to gather down in those waters. When the elves discovered its potential, they built this temple to harness that energy. A smashing success, to say the least. Many of them became addicted to their newfound power, and thus, the Light Elves were born. Well done. Though I imagine our Light Elf friends will be less than pleased. Speaking of Light Elves... Let me try talking to them again. They Thanks may... just to let these two do their thing, brother. <laughs> Light up on the left! 
For us, swearing off violence doesn't mean he can't disfigure some architecture. This way. The shrine awaits. different than I remember. It was all broken and covered in hive stuff last time we were here. These elves use Alfheim's light to enhance the temple. Themselves, by the look of it. They definitely look more dangerous than last time. Oh, those were just the foot soldiers. They'll get more dangerous the further up we go. Great. This way, Kratos. Yeah, he knows. He's just like the Sarah. I see. My own. Interesting this way. Watch your mate. Come <laughs> on. 
Shall we continue? So if these elves use the light to build doors and make themselves stronger, what do the Dark Elves want with it? To return it back to its source. To them, the natural resources of Alfheim are sacred, none more so than the light itself. Aye, the Light Elf's success came at a terrible price. Alfheim's once lively desert withered into a storm-ridden wasteland soon after the creation of this temple. There's more Twilight Stone up there. these poems. Oh, there's always meaning if you look hard enough, brother. It's all in what you bring to it. Gotta be a better angle on that fire. More light thing. elves ahead. I'll handle this. Uh, maybe that's not a great idea. Oh there, friends. Salutations. We mean you no harm. Here. Get back. Get it now. Why do they keep fighting? The Dark Elves want the souls and the light left alone. But the Light Elves want to keep using them. That's the long and short of it. Aye. So then, which side is right? Rarely is it so simple. I'm not our place to say. This is an Elven conflict. I said as much the last time we were in Alfheim. Right. <laughs>
They sure made a lot of these light doors. Mm. Fortifications. Aye. None too eager to let the Dark Elves run the roost again. Angle looks right. Excellent. Let's continue our ascent, yes? Take it off, man! You've got this! You're building quite the collection of poetry, brother. Why so surprised? My people are known for their culture. Not surprised. Esteem. I suppose I'll leave you to it. <gasps> on the other side. Whoa! Tyr can really jump. Mystic doesn't see us. There's twilight stone on the ground.
I wonder if we could use Twilight Stone against them. That's the wrong one. Oh, another chest. He's getting the hang of it. I've never seen the Light Elves so much control over the temple. Yes, that's on us. They must have anointed a new temple guardian. Svartal Yoffer's counterpart. The Dark Elf King. He's in the light now, too. Timing must be precise. Here they come. Do what you must. statue, these crystals. I've noticed them on the elves as well. I wonder, if this statue were to fall over the chasm, still make light bridges. Now the light elves wear them. Smart. Almost there. Allow me. Ah! 
I dare say he's beginning to enjoy the vandalism. Pretty soon he'll be laying waste to pottery. Shall we continue? Well, at least we're getting closer. Look up. See? It feels even taller on the inside. Can't believe all this was down here. Okay, that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.